Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength here. Strongest licensed CPA in the state of Florida. Let's get it in here. We are doing, we're doing QuickBooks online today. We're in Craig's Design and Landscape Services. It's the uh, the sample company in QuickBooks. But what I want to do is a bank rule. So the big, what I love about QuickBooks online is it has a automatic bank feed update. So you go, you'd go in, you you add a bank you add a bank feed here, and you have it going. So it has all your transactions coming in, and I might do a video on that if anybody would like to see how to set up that. But I want to show you how to do, look, a, a rental backhoe, A1 rental. So look, we're going to do, that's the payee. So I'm going to do a little copy and paste. At A1 rental, that's our vendor. And look, we had uh, $1,200 this time we spent at A1 rental. So we're going to save that. So he's our vendor. Then we're going to go and we're going to put this under equipment rental. Now, every time we go to A1 rental, it's going to be an equipment rental. So once you do, once you do that, once you figure out what, what category, what expense, what liability, what revenue it is, this is a, this is an expense. It's already has, it's already set up in our chart of accounts. If it wasn't something we have to set up in our chart of accounts, I can do a video on that too, but this is on bank rules. And then you go down, we'll set A1 rental to equipment rental from now on. Edit this setting. Now they have, this is a new, this is new down here. Create rule from this transaction. This is what we want to do. I create rules for everything. Now, look, it's got, if it if it's a if it's if it contains a one rental and it equals twelve hundred dollars and the bank tax contains a one rental backhoe it's going to be an equipment rental from now on what are we going to call this i would just call this i'm just going to paste it again a one rental rule name now i'm going to take out the twelve hundred dollars because we're not going to spend twelve hundred dollars every time i think there's another one on, on our list for eight hundred dollars if we spend eight hundred dollars here, it's also going. If it, if we don't spend twelve hundred dollars, it's also going to be. We also want it to be equipment rental. So we're going to take that out, so it can be any any amount. Now we'd save that. So now we'll go to edit this setting, create custom rule. Okay. So if the description in the bank contains A1 rental, it's going to be an equipment rental. That's what we want. So I'm going to put, paste this again, save it. Oh, we're already, someone's already using that. If someone's already using that, I use a two next to it. So a1 rental 2. Now look at that. These A1 rentals, whenever A1 rental comes up in the bank feed, you already have your rule. So I would so you go, you look at it real fast. A1 rental, okay. That's going to be job equipment expense. Yeah. Job rental expense. Yeah. So I'd check that, check that. Oh, record found on that deposit. So then you check through on everything. That looks good. Catch actions. Accept selected. And there you go. And that's how you that's how you set up a bank rule. I love the bank rules in QuickBooks Online. I use them all the time here. Alright, now we can 
Now this one's going to be, oh, uh, what's another uh, one they don't have? Hicks Hardware. All right, what's Hicks Hardware? Let's just say it's, um, what do they have? What, what are we going to put hardware in here? What expenses? We'll just put it as a purchase. You might want to put it something else. So Rick's Hardware Purchase. See, it's not, right now it's not, there's no rule for it. So I'd make a rule for just about everything. Everything that comes through. Oh. So I'm going to go to Hicks Hardware. Copy. Paste. That's going to be the rule name, Hicks Hardware. And now anytime a Hicks Hardware comes through on the bank feed, it's going to be set to purchases. So we'll save that. Let's see if that worked. We'll go back down there. Where is Hicks Hardware? It's a purchase. It's a rule. Every time it's every time it comes through the bank feed, it's going to be a rule. So it makes it so much easier to do these. I I would implore you to do. I do rules for every single every single uh, purchase that comes through. Anyways, I hope this helped. If you're not if you have QuickBooks online and you're you've got you've got to be using the bank feed the automatic bank feed right here it is key it's the best part about quickbooks online and if you're using the automatic bank feed you've got you've got to make rules you've got to make bank rules i make a rule for every single transaction that comes through and if you're doing a client's a client's quickbooks or you're doing your own quickbooks you know you can only go to so many places whatever it is you know Starbucks, uh, this this hardware store, that hardware store, this supplier, that supplier. You get money from this person. It can only be so many different things after you do it for a year or two, and then, and then when you start, and then when you start looking on here, you know they already have records found and stuff. But everything everything will be a rule, and you just kind of go through, look at, I look at it very briefly looks good you check it off you check it off it looks good you check it off let's just say there's rules for everything or records found and bill payments are good but and you could also just look at everything hit a batch action you hit this button here on the left it checks everything off and then you say oh that looks good i don't know why that one won't let me hit that but anyways, after a while, every everything will be checked and you'll be good to go. It'll save you so much time. So I hope this was helpful. I've been using QuickBooks Online for about three years. I love it. Um, you know, I I didn't know how to do things at first, but I just kept on going. So uh, as tax season rolls around here, I'll be doing more. I'll be doing more of these QuickBooks Online videos. I I really like it. I hope I can help out, get better at these. But anyways, y'all have a great day. And let's be positive and get things done. All right, deuces.